Hi friends from the community, hi YouTube, what's up? It's time for another video and this time I got inspired by a fellow reviewer for my new video that is Claudio, also known as Sent Times. Uh, I really enjoy, uh, enjoy his videos and if you still haven't checked him out, please do. Uh, he actually did a video about uh, fragrances that made him think that is about fragrances that in some kind of way uh, affected his collection and his fragrance taste uh, that were turning point in this uh, uh, fragrance game for him. So I, just, I really enjoyed that video and I decided it would be kind of cool to do the same thing or the similar at least. So I just decided to do uh, a video about five fragrances that affected my collection and my fragrance taste from the very first beginnings uh, until now. Okay, so we can start. My fragrance journey actually started about around four years ago when I started uh, sniffing uh, for a lot of fragrances and they caught my attention. And the first fragrance that actually really, really caught my attention was this one. A bit surprising, I guess. For you guys, uh, Dolce and Gabbana Perum. I was choosing a gift and I decided I will buy a fragrance. And well, I was sniffing, you know, without any, any knowledge. I just uh, wanted to buy something that smelled good. And I chose actually this fragrance. And until now, uh, it is still one of my favorites. And um, when I discovered this one, I uh, figured out, well, there must be more, there must be uh, something even better and different and uh, fragrances caught my attention so I just stayed hooked and uh, yeah, my fragrance journey started with this fragrance which I didn't even buy for myself but as a gift. Um, at the, very f at the very first start, I figured I really enjoy uh, sweet oriental gourmand fragrances and um, at the same time, I, of course, I started with designers and uh, they, were, they are still wonderful uh, uh, gourmand designers in the game, but somehow they, I just couldn't, I enjoyed them the most but uh, somehow I just couldn't find uh, the one that uh, was gourmand, oriental, but classy and very elegant and sophisticated at the same time until I blind bought this one and that is Guerlain Tonka Imperial uh, this fragrance is sweet, it is gourmandish, it is oriental and um, at the same time, it stays extremely sophisticated, elegant, classy, and then I figured out, you know, um, gourmand fragrances can be very classy too, if they are uh, done in a way Tonka Imperial is done. So yeah, one of my favorites. The next one is, well, from the very first start, as I already said, I started with Dolce & Gabbana Pro Rome, uh, but uh, I found myself enjoying more in uh, fragrances that are uh, marked towards men or the unisex ones and I still can't explain it but uh, that's still the case and uh, I don't have uh, an objective explanation for this but I still think there are much better fragrances in male side of things or at the unisex side of things uh, at least uh, which I catch more of my uh, personal taste and attention and uh, I wanted to give every fragrance a try but as, as, as I was in the beginning I didn't dare to pull men's fragrances off until this one and it is, uh, that is a Chanel Allure Edition Blanche I, uh, this, is, this is the first fragrance that is marked towards men uh, that I bought and that I decided I can perfectly pull it off and um, from that point uh, on I wear whatever I think I can pull off which makes me feel comfortable and I really don't care about uh, uh, the, uh, the difference uh, between the fragrances in 
the way they are marked. Uh, I don't care if they are marked as feminine, masculine or unisex, I give every fragrance uh, a chance and if I love it, if I think I can pull it off, if I feel comfortable and happy wearing it, I do it. The next one is another Guerlain and that is Pirtu Double Vanille. I really enjoy uh, vanilla in my fragrances. It's most definitely one of my uh, favorite uh, notes in the fragrances. And uh, I've been searching for the very, from the very first beginnings for a perfect vanilla fragrance. And I came across, uh, across many lovely vanilla fragrances, but um, I think uh, Spiritu Double Vanille is the best in the game. I tried many until now, uh, none of them impressed me as this one. Uh, it is great, boozy vanilla, and I just uh, love it. Uh, nothing uh, has come even close to this one for now. Of course, I will give in. Chance, I will be giving chances to another vanilla based fragrances, but until nowadays nothing came even close. And the last one is this one, uh, Silver Mountain Water by Creed. Why this one? Well, uh, I really am not a floral fragrance fan. And uh, I just I figured out uh, I figured that out from the beginning, and I really somehow avoided uh, fragrances that uh, had a flower uh, flowers listed as notes. Uh, but I was trying to uh, to give uh, each fragrance a chance, and somehow accidentally I got a sample of Silver Mountain Water, and. Um, well, yeah, I know it m most certainly isn't uh, only a uh, floral fragrance, but uh, flowers are definitely present in this one. And um, uh, with this fragrance, I figure out that if flowers I are done in the right way, in the way that suits me, I can uh, enjoy flower notes in my fragrances too. Until then, I avoided them. Uh, nowadays, I'm still not a huge uh, floral fragrance fan, but if they are done in a certain way, um, I, I can enjoy uh, flowers and fragrances. So, these were the five fragrances that definitely affected my fragrance taste and my collection. And all of these are most certainly one of my favorites. Uh, of all time and uh, I'm very curious about the fragrances that uh, affected your fragrance taste. Uh, uh, please if you wish comment down below and I will enjoy discussing this with you guys. Please thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe and see you soon with another video. I know I owe you a niche a spring list so that one is coming next. Thank you. Bye.